Welcome to the BYU Museum of Art. My name is Bethany Wells, and I am a student educator here at the MOA. And I am so excited to be able to share with you all some of the rich history behind Navajo textile weaving, which is actually a project that I've been working on since last summer, and so I hold it very near and dear to my heart. There are actually quite a few objects in the museum that are either inspired by or created directly from Navajo culture and people. And two of those works can be found in the exhibit Treasures from the MOA Collection. And here in the exhibit, I have two of those artworks. On my left is Minerva Teichert's Rug Merchants. And on my right is this anonymous Southwest Indian blanket or rug. According to Navajo mythology, there are two holy beings that are credited in gifting the art of weaving to the people, and their names are Spider Woman and Spider Man. According to legend, Spider Woman was out one day exploring when she came across a young tree. And having casually put her hand upon its branch, when she tried to remove it, she realized that there was a thin string attached from her palm to the tree. And being curious rather than afraid, she decided to sit down and began to uncover the mysterious qualities of this new bond. And it wasn't before long that she began to weave beautiful patterns out of this string. But before she could teach the people this art form, she had her husband, Spider-Man, create a loom specifically for weaving. This original loom is said to have been made out of different natural elements, such as earth, sun, rain, and sky. In these textiles, Navajo weavers strive to honor their origin and culture by including specific patterns and colors. In this rug, you can see that the diamond shape is very much the focus of the entire pattern and actually represents their homeland or what they refer to as Dineta. There are four major mountains that dominate the Navajo landscape and they are San Francisco Peaks, Hesperus Peak, Blanca Peak, and Mount Taylor. And when you connect these four mountains on a map, you will find that you actually create a diamond shape, which is why the Navajo people use it to represent their sacred land. You can also see this diamond shape in Minerva Teichert's painting. So in the textile on the left, you can see that the diamond shape is also very prominent. However, the other two textiles are filled with zigzag patterns which is a representation of lightning. So as I mentioned before, Spider-Man used different natural elements to help create the loom. And another one of those elements is lightning. However, this also embodies strength and power. And so by adding this design to the textile, it helps create an even more energetic and bold textile. The second thing that is emphasized in both of these artworks is the specific coloring used. Navajo weavers have to create and dye their own wool, which is quite the lengthy process. And it includes shearing their sheep, washing the wool of impurities, brushing it out using um, tools called cards, spinning the wool using a spindle, and then finally dyeing the wool. And to create these beautiful, rich, deep hues, deep red color hues, Navajo weavers actually use cochineal, which is a type of beetle that they grind up, mix in water, and then put the yarn into this boiling liquid. There are other natural materials and plants that are used to create different colors as well. For example, sunflower seeds are used to create a black color. Red onion skins are used to create brown. And sagebrush is also used to create yellow or green coloring. So as you can tell, creating these beautiful textiles 
takes a lot of time, patience, and skill. And hopefully today, you have been able to understand and gain a better appreciation of Navajo weaving. And the next time you come to the museum, I hope that you look for both of these incredible artworks, but I don't want you to stop there. Try to look for other art objects in the museum that is either inspired by or created directly from the Navajo culture. Thank you.